Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for August 15th through the 31st. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may not resonate the exact day you watch it. You know, this is like a preview. So let's just see what comes up for Libra for the end of August, the last half of August. We're going to start right here. What do we got for Libra? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What do we got for Libra? Woo! Beautiful. We got a man that is holding his heart. So we have a we have a man here. I mean, the, the card speaks for itself. This is man holding a heart. So we have we may have a man that has your heart. Okay, if you are a Libra female, we have a man that has your heart. He has a hold on your heart. If you are the Libra male, this is you holding on to your heart. It's like you're not giving it away. So we have a man that is not giving it away. It's like he wants it. He's holding on to it. So. Um, if you are the male here, you may be getting ready to give your heart to somebody. It's not you still. It's like you haven't done it yet, though. You haven't done it. You're thinking about it. Okay. Um, if you are the female watching this, you probably have a man that is thinking about you. You know, and you have his heart. You know what I mean? You are in his heart. Your heart. It's like you belong to him. You know what I mean? He he wants to keep you. That's what I think this is. Um, so we have a man that is holding a heart. He's holding on to it. He wants to keep it. Um, if if you are the male watching this, I feel like you are getting ready or to give your heart away to somebody. Somebody sees your big heart, or somebody is, you know, they may be in, they may be you know, falling in love. I mean, somebody could be falling in love. I mean, that's a pretty big heart right there. So this is this has to do with love. This reading is definitely going to be about love. Um, Libra. We we could have a man here that is is not giving you his he's holding on to, he's just not giving it yet. So that's what this is. Whether you are the male or the female, we have a masculine here that is not giving it completely away yet. He's still holding on to it, okay? Um, but, you know, there's definitely contemplation about it. So what do we got for Libra with this deck right here? Um, you know, I don't feel like this card should be reversed. It is reversed the way I'm turning it over. But I don't feel like it should be reversed. Uh, so I'm not going to take it reversed. It's the lover's card. It is the lover's card. Why, why isn't this candle lit? I don't want to get wax on my fingers. Oh. So, I mean... This is a lover's card. This is unexpected. It did come out reversed. So people want me to take it reversed. I'm going to have to take it reversed. You know, it feels like there's an opportunity for love here, but somebody is withholding their love. Okay? There is. Somebody is withholding love. But they do love. Do you know what I mean? There is love here. There's love, but they're not giving it away. Interesting. Very interesting. That freaking candle went out. What the hell? Let's see if we can light this back up. So, and that, you know, there's there's a such thing as no such thing as coincidence. Okay, let's see if we can get this to stay lit. Because it feels like there's this is what we got going on here. It's like there's a there's a love connection that is it keeps on going out and obviously that son of a gun. Maybe you need to replace it. Maybe I need to maybe you need to replace it. Maybe you need to replace a false contract. Maybe maybe you're dealing with somebody who won't give their heart away. I'm gonna get another candle and see what happens. Um, see if it stays lit. 
I mean, there's no such thing as coincidence, and if you don't believe me, then that's too bad. But anyhow, um, let's see if this one will stay lit. Now I got wax all over my fingers. Um, so we have a love connection here that may not be uh, going in the right direction. Obviously, that and, and it's funny that when I turned the card over, you know, I didn't want to take it that way. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know, my heart says, no, 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 it shouldn't be this way. And that's how it is. It shouldn't be this way. So I think we got somebody here that is re withholding love and it's dying it's dying I'm sorry I'm sorry um that one's shining bright maybe maybe you need to you know give your love away to somebody else I mean I'm just being honest with you I had to replace that candle um I shouldn't be flipping these but whatever um there could be an end of a contract here. There could be an end of a contract because we have somebody here that isn't, they're just, they're not giving. It's not, it hasn't been given yet. They're just holding on to it. Interesting. You deserve love. You are lovable. So we have somebody here is not getting the reciprocation that they deserve. So, I mean, maybe, maybe it's time to find a replacement I'm just being honest with you and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I mean giving and receiving the six of pentacles somebody and I wasn't gonna say anything but I saw it and now with this one I'm going to somebody is not be getting the reciprocation that they deserve and when you get a the lovers card in, in reversed this it tells me that you have somebody else so I know that a lot of you don't want to hear that but this tells me that you probably have somebody else but you may be withholding giving your heart away to somebody else because of a false contract this is a contract I feel like you you deserve love you are lovable and if somebody isn't accepting your heart or they're not giving their love to you you need to you know stop reciprocating you need to stop giving to the situation because you deserve it you deserve to be loved libra so i feel like right off the bat we have a situation that keeps on um you know it, it, it goes up and then it goes down it goes up and then it goes down so there's there's probably you could be dealing with somebody who's playing with you okay i'm just being honest with you okay so libra i feel like you know, you deserve a real soulmate contract, somebody that gives away their heart freely. Um, maybe, maybe if this is you, if you are the Libra male, maybe, maybe it's time for you to give your heart away to somebody else. You deserve love. So, got a problem here. We do have a problem. I, I set the replacement up and now we got the lovers reversed. So, okay, this was, that was confirmation that I made the right decision. And this is confirmation that you need to make the right decision. I mean, we have the lovers twice reversed. This is a big message right here. Somebody is in a false contract and they need to realize what they are worth. You need, there's, there, it's just incompatible. I mean, I can't, I can't pretend I would like to. And this tells me that you have somebody else, but you can't, you may not be investing in it. You may not be investing in it. Um, wasting time. It's time to get unstuck. It's time to let go of this, you know, hanging on to whatever it is that you've been hanging on to. It's time to break free. It's time for you to stand up and walk away, perhaps. Knight of Cups reversed. This is a false relationship, a false romance. I think that you guys have been dealing with somebody who can talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk as far as love goes. It doesn't appear to be love. Ace of Pentacles reversed. For, seize the new opportunity. It's like this is in your challenge position. You have a new opportunity, a big, huge opportunity. Somebody wants you to give them a chance. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. Don't let the false contract that has kept you stuck keep you there. 
Stop wasting your time. You've got somebody else. Could be a Gemini. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is seize the opportunity. Let go of the regrets right now. Right now. The Four of Cups. Look forward now. Don't don't keep on looking back at what won't stay lit. Okay? What well, what well, is it meant to be? Oh my god. And I flipped. I flipped multiple times and I want to hear one word about reversals, not one word. What is meant to happen is meant to happen. So, um King of Swords reverse. This is bitterness. This is resent. This is cold. There we go. We got one that's upright. Knight of Swords or Knight of Wands reversed and the Six of Wands upright. So this is making progress. Finding your confidence. Hold your head up high. Stop thinking about it. It's like you guys are thinking too much. You're thinking about what thinking about somebody that probably didn't love you. And there could be fear of giving your heart away to somebody else. That's what it looks like to me. Or you could be dealing with somebody who is afraid to give their love to you. Okay? If you are the female, you could be dealing with a male that is afraid to give their love to you. We have somebody here that needs to take a new perspective, needs to look at things differently, needs to be logical, needs to be open-minded. The challenge is that new perspective is letting go of something that isn't solid and stable. This is your challenge position, a false a false contract. The challenge is dropping it. The challenge is letting it go. Somebody here needs to be getting prepared to seize a new opportunity. You should somebody wants you to give them a chance. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they are noble. This person is real. This person is passionate. This person um, is highly respected. You can trust this person. But I feel like you guys are untrustworthy. You're probably not trusting. You probably don't dare to trust anybody because, you know, somebody has left you in suspension for so long. Somebody kept you hanging for so long. Now, you know, it's hard to start over. So I feel like you guys definitely right now have a new opportunity and I think that you might take it. I think that you should take it. Stop thinking about it. Don't let bitterness and resent and anger get in the way. Uh, you know, I think that, that this Knight of Cups reversed, this is, this is, you know, fear, fear of getting in a false relationship because you were in a false relationship. They're mirroring each other. You were in some sort of false contract. I feel, Libra, at the end of August that you have an opportunity and that you should accept it. Whoever you're dealing with, this person is highly respected. This person can help you. This person will protect you. I feel like you need to be open-minded about this person. Your challenge is letting go of the false contract. For real. For real. It's, it's, it can't, it doesn't, it won't even stay lit, okay? It can't, there's no fire left. There's no passion left. There's no... It's unrequited. It's over. So if you keep on looking back at something, I'm here to tell you that's over. It's over. It's time for you to stand back up. Stand back up and live again. Okay? Oh my God. Stop holding on to the dead end. It's getting old. It's getting old. And I know a lot of people are in denial and they don't, I'm not holding on. I'm waiting because that's what I'm supposed to do. No. It's time for you to live again. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to let go of this stagnation. Put yourself out there. Take those swords out of your back. You have somebody else. We have somebody here that is overwhelmed, carrying something, carrying something around, carrying this heavy weight, carrying this heavy burden, um, trying to prove themselves, trying to prove that they can stick it out. I can stick it out. I can stick it out. Well... This is a dead end. This is a de you are somebody is headed nowhere. You have a new prospect. Somebody that will protect you. Somebody that won't just leave when the going gets rough. You know, you do. But you need to be looking at that instead of crying over the spilled milk. So I do feel like you guys are recovering. You're recovering from a near-death experience, okay, where it really, really hurt you. It really, really um, 
broke you, okay? You're recovering. You're going, you are recovering. And I feel like you are making great progress. But you need to keep going. You need to keep going. Now you're at this crossroads. This is it's a time of decision. It's the moment of decision. So you are going to make it have to make a decision at the end of this month. You have two paths. Which one are you gonna take? You gonna keep looking back or are you gonna take that new road? You have an opportunity at the end of this month. I think that you guys have been through a period of reflection. You've been through a period of isolation. You've come a long way. I can see that you've come a long way. And you have an opportunity for love here with somebody that is on your level. I feel like this person is probably a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius or I think it's an Aries Leo Sagittarius it could be a Gemini um, could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio but I, I, I feel as though it, it is time for you to live again it's time for you to come out of hiding and take that path remove the barrier remove the barrier so I feel like the end of this month, you are going to receive an opportunity. Somebody may, you know, express their feelings for you. Or they may express interest in you. And you are probably going to be making a decision to either accept or reject. That's what I see. I mean, that is what I see. I feel like this is a chance. This is a chance for you to get unstuck. It's a chance for you to live again. It's a chance for you perhaps to fall in love. Give your heart away. That's my advice. Somebody is very, very much interested in you. It is not the one that broke you. That was a false contract that wasn't meant to be. Good luck.